We're going to turn now to a historic deal in sports today. Major League Soccer is launching a $25 million transaction with black-owned banks across the nation. Yeah, it's a deal made possible by Dr. Bernice King and many other key players and their goal, closing the racial wealth gap. Take a look. If the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis was the initial spur, the subsequent response has been both reassuring and, frankly, extraordinary. It's a deal born out of the fight for equality. It's important now because the tensions are so high. I don't know how much longer people can wait for uh, a change. A tangible change in the works since Major League Soccer's solidarity protest seen here on ESPN. Being players of color in sport, you learn early you're not allowed to show your emotions because emotions are weakness or were. It's led to the formation of an organization called Black Players for Change. More than 170 players, coaches, and other MLS staff rallying together to tackle racial injustice. The work that BPC initiated led to the positions like Shola Winley becoming the first black executive member at the MLS level. If those eight minutes and 46 seconds don't take place on that Minnesota block, then I'm not sitting here uh, today. I'm grateful for Shola because I didn't realize how important representation was. I didn't know because I never saw it. It just was what it was. And you deal with it, you shut up and dribble. We had a season of everybody make a lot of announcements post George Floyd. Now it's accountability season. It starts with a powerful woman like Dr. Bernice King calling her friend Sola at MLS saying, we have an opportunity. This can be an opportunity for me to help to continue to advance uh, my father's legacy in a, in a way that people don't typically associate my father. He called for the next movement to be economic justice, to call for a banking in movement, so corporations of goodwill to bank with black banks. He called for a bank in uh, the night before he was assassinated. As for the racial wealth gap, a Federal Reserve report found black households at the bottom, with less than 15% the wealth of white households. The black dollar stays in our community about six hours. And the reason is we don't have places to put it. We don't have enough black banks to put it. Major League Soccer is excited to be the first sports league to do a deal with a syndicate of national uh, black banks nationwide. A $25 million loan with black owned banks, projecting more revenue for black businesses and black homeowners across the country. This deal over the next five years is gonna turn into millions of dollars of opportunity in the black community. Dr. King now continues what she says is one of her father's forgotten fights with new players at her side. The wonderful thing about this transaction is it parallels soccer. It takes every player on that field to make that goal. The syndicate of black banks, MLS, BPC. Working together to reach the goal of chipping away at the racial wealth gap. Soccer is the only sport that's played in every ghetto, in every suburb, in every corner of the world. And that means it's going to take corporations of goodwill from across our country getting on the field and getting in the game. That's the best way to sum it up. People want to make it. It's not just about a social media post. It's actually putting your money yep. where your mouth is and some tangible effects there. And thanks to our Brad Billings, our yep. producer, for putting that together for us. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.